When the spirit moves you, take a deep, ooh, you're tall. So maybe we step it back. There you go. If you push that podi, like push that thing all the way towards me, as far as I can go. Even desk, short, perfect. And now step it back. And now you can fake it a bit easier. You also don't have to use the podium and could try the same thing. Let's try it starting here and then we can always move if we need to. Okay. Um, by hands, come here to you, uh, not out EDM music. Alright, um, who's your uh, favorite DJ? Yeah, it is my eye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have some. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't think. What are you? He goes by the name Zilla. Nice. Um, so, um, uh, um, I'm gonna, I'm, let me just briefly introduce myself. Yeah, my name is TLC. You can call me Sean as, if you want. And I'm um, 20 years old. And um, I was born in China and came to the U.S. as a uh, junior in high school. <clears throat> and I am going to talk about talk about my job and um, what do I do for fun. And, <clears throat> so, um, are you going to come back to the music? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Are you going to talk about a favorite DJ? No, no, no. no it's like my job. Yeah. What do I do for fun? Per oh, that's your job. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you may want to spoil that alert. So if we ask the question, you know, who's your favorite DJ, you could potentially build that in and give us a spoiler alert to your thesis statement, knowing that we can't let... No, but that was just a random question. So. Okay. Yeah. The attention getter should somehow be, or come back and be connected in, in a way. Thus, if we wanted to let the audience know that you can ask the question, who's your favorite, whatever. And then, interesting, no, none of you said a specific DJ. I'm going to get to that in a little bit and maybe change your mind about who's your new favorite. But for now, you can call me and my name, and I came, and today I'm going to talk about. Does that make sense? Okay, so that at least we're not sitting there going, what's this DJ have to do about it? Because I think it has to do with you. Okay, so let's go to that first transition. Uh, meaning, uh, so first, let me tell you about my. Let me tell you about, about my job. Yeah, so that we can get to. Oh, so that we can, you, can, you guys can know me better. Yeah. yeah. And um, I am a DJ, and I was DJing for some clubs in China this summer, and I, I was also a, a promoter for a hip hop club, and. Um, I do those trap, dubstep, hip hop music for a long time, and uh, I'm I'm now doing some like small part of progressive house. Oh. Huh. Yeah. And, um, mm, so um, my hobby is like. So now that I told you about my job. So now I'm gonna talk about my hobbies. My hobbies, my hobbies are um, like I, I love producing music, and I'm now producing some sick. Tracks with a friend of mine and mm -hmm. a DJ from Miami, a decent like Chinese guy, and we have this song. Um, we have this progressive house song, um, B Port. Do you, you guys know B Port? Yeah. Yeah. Like it's like a billboard for electric music. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> it ranked thirty on B Port this this um, so, um this July, I guess this July. So. Um, it was pretty good, and um, um, to be honest, I really love parties. Um, I go to these, these raves all the time, and um, I really love them. So if any of you want to hang out, you can always hit me up. What do you love? I love the raves because? Because it gives me fun. It gives me happiness. Good. Yeah. Fun happiness? Yeah. What's okay. the fun? Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
And I mean, you don't have to uh, disclose that per se, but you can say it in a different way. An opportunity to express yourself without judgment, to be free, to dance, to enjoy people around you without having any hesitation. And that's usually like where these raves go, right? Or the idea of like, you know, ecstasy as well. So you don't have to say that exact thing if that's it in order to keep that level of credibility, if that makes sense. But you at least giving us detail as to the why. Because to say it's fun, my idea of fun is different than yours. So we just need some qualifiers as to how that's you. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how to say this. You were done. I was just making you keep going. You can draw us to the conclusion if you want to. So I love, I love, I love EDM music. And it gives me happiness. It brought me to a like new level of happiness, of knowing happiness. And uh, that's it. Oh, so today I told you about. Go back to the, tell us the three things you talked about today, or the two things. Um, I I talked about my job and my hobbies. Yeah. So that we could. So that we could. Mhm. Mm and then we go back to our tension getter. Which was the question? How many of you know about Uh huh. Well, now it's like, what do we know at the end of the speech? It's like, now that you've heard a little bit about EDM, and we couldn't name, we couldn't name an, um, a, a DJ that we enjoyed before. Hopefully, now at the end of this speech, you can go out, explore, know one of your own, or maybe even know me, yeah. right? Like something like that. Sound good? Yay! Okay, good!